When Nike launched the first Phantom Vision in 2018, I liked it, but also had some reservations. And thankfully, a lot of those reservations seem to have been addressed in the Vision 2. Now, I'm pretty sure, of course, that Nike didn't take my feedback in and say, right, let's, uh, let's fix this. But still, they decided to give the Phantom Vision 2 a faster and sleeker look. They got rid of much of the sock collar here, and also they fixed a bunch of other stuff. So what do you say we dive into the tech and see what kind of goodness this has in store for us? Right, I might as well say it now. Yes, the Phantom Vision 2 looks really different from the first Phantom Vision, but in fact, it's not really a big innovation because the tech points on the Vision 2 are more or less the same. So it's still built with a flyknit outer piece. It has this inner shell made out of quad fit mesh, then it has ghost laces and this tube ankle sock kind of thing, which were funnily enough, also the main components on the first Phantom Vision. But like I said, small changes were made despite the overall tech points being largely the same. So let's start looking at it from the inside out with the quad fit mesh. Although to be honest, um, it's more or less the same. Now that means that it's still this woven inner mesh sleeve that is more or less flexible and soft like any other mesh textile, but also it features fibers that tighten up when you apply pressure to it. So the idea is that when you put your foot in, it molds around your foot freely like any other sock would, but then once you start moving your foot inside of the boot, it really tightens up and holds your foot securely in place whenever you need it. So it's soft when you're just hanging around and then gives you adaptive lockdown, so to speak, when your foot requires it. And also, on top of that, Nike did make a small change. They actually took out a layer of mesh that normally sits underneath the quad fit to make the upper package thinner and give you a slightly sharper touch. And just like last year, the quad fit mesh, which I hope you can see it's the white stuff on the inside of the boot here, is connected to this inner ankle sock collar, which is made out of circular knit and not fly knit, which means that it's a little bit less stretchy and a little bit less tightly woven and frankly not as nice as the fly knit, but it's still there. And what Nike did is that they actually lowered the collar here quite significantly and they also made the weave a little bit tighter. Now that of course means that it's a little bit less flappy and it doesn't feel as cheap as it did on the first generation, which to me, to be honest, made the boot feel <laughs> quite a lot less premium than it probably could and should have. Ugh. But to me actually, if you've tried it, it feels a lot like the color on the Nike GS360. It gives you that nice tight compressed sensation around the ankle, but also somehow enhances the free sensation because there's not as much material covering the ankle bone. Oh, and there's also a hole string, which means that now the boot is significantly easier to get on. And not as <laughs> frustrating as this one. So progress, I guess. On top of that, we find the so-called ghost laces, which are, <laughs> um, they're regular laces, but they are connected to the quad fit mesh via some lace loops, meaning that when you pull the laces tight, the quad fit mesh goes in and it's securely and tightly wrapped around your foot, basically like a burrito to hold it in place when you need it. And the reason they're called ghost laces is not because, well, it's because you can't see them because they're covered with this really stretchy and perforated piece of fly knit that not only cleans up the striking surface, but also lets your feet breathe. That piece covering the laces is actually a part of the entire fly knit outer shell, which sees the majority of it covered in this thin Nike skin silicone film. And just like a year and a half ago, it has this windmill shaped micro texturing to it, meaning that Nike wants you to have grip on the ball no matter where on the boot you touch it. But unlike a year and a half ago, this big triangular control zone has been redefined, meaning that you now have the big windmill shapes throughout more or less the entire medial side of the Vision 2. And also the front part of the front part of the instep has been made with a thicker coating, meaning to act as a base for when you shoot, but also those really precise, long cross field De Bruyne-esque passes. On the outside, there's a slightly thicker coating too to give you a bit of stability. And Nike also included this 
thick external heel pad to protect you when defenders get frustrated and try and clip your heels. Yep, I know what you might be thinking. Same recipe, new look, with a few modifications and improvements here and there. But one thing that hasn't changed one bit is the hyper precision outsole because it's exactly the same as last year, where it focuses on giving you a more smooth rotational movement with a rounded conical outside of the stud and then a sharper, more angular inside of the stud to give you a bit more aggressiveness. And it also has this, should we call, toe off agility zone under the big toe to help you supposedly push off in any direction you want. So there you have it, Boo fam. The Nike Phantom Vision 2s with a whole lot of visual updates and a few tech tweaks here and there, resulting in the same slightly wide fitting, very comfortable, but also kind of familiar sensation to it. And if you ask me, they could have given us a little bit more. But on the other hand, it simply feels more rounded and refined. And I do reckon that it performs and looks better than the previous generation. So if you have the hots for the Vision 2, you can get it as one of the first in the world from unisportstore.com from January 23rd if you click the link right over there. To kill some of that waiting time, you can go and learn meanwhile how to improve as a footballer in the playlist right down there. But not before you've made sure you've subscribed to the channel with the notifications on to not miss a single of our new videos when they drop. And with that said guys, I'm signing off. Cheerio.